And it's, it's what I now think. I mean, I didn't think about this at the time. I picked up an anthropology book, was instantly fascinated, started to read more without stopping to ask myself, why am I so interested? But then thinking back, the books were set describing situations which were recognisably like what I'd just been doing in Singapore. Well, not just, I mean, I was um, five years earlier in Singapore. So I started not with any kind of high theory, but I started reading a plain ethnography mm. and found it quite fascinating. And the thought even crossed my mind, would it be fun to get read anthropology at Oxford afterwards? And if so, I was sure I would do field work in either in Plantan or Trangano mm. because I found the Malays such charming mm. people. I visited these villages, I'd realised that they're very hospitable, it would have been great fun to do field work in a place where it's very easy to have, I mean I had very easy rapport with all the Malays that I met, there were about 400 of them in the regiment. I went through all their files, almost everybody had one of two jobs, uh, rubber tupper, paddy planter, and joined the army when things were going badly. And when I complained about the food, I remember somebody saying to me, um, We've never had three meals a day before, <laughs> why are you complaining? They thought the food in the army was absolutely wonderful. <laughs>